kind of competes in there, whether it's shooting baskets or getting, you know, being on a boat doing skis or whatnot. Look, we're Division One athletes. We compete in everything we do. You know what I mean? You know, if I'm sitting here throwing my empty bottle of Gatorade in the trash can, like we're going to compete to see who can make it in first. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's just in our nature. But ultimately, we're there to have fun. Um, and I think what's really important, and Coach Brown's also emphasized to us, is that we're at this point now where you know. The whole program is like a snow globe. You know, everything was all settled. The new coaches came in, new players came in, some players left. And when you did that, you took the show, snow globe and you shook it up. And everything's flying around. So what I think really this this going to people's houses and things like that, this big brother program, um, all the new things that Coach Brown has implemented has done is took all those pieces and settled it back to the bottom. Because before Coach Brown can trust me, he has to know who I am. Before I can trust him, he has to know, I have to know who he is. So it's the same thing as us going to all the position coaches, uh, the players hanging out together. We're people. I mean, this goes for a great example just out of the blue, off the top of my head, you know, people on Twitter who tweet at us and, and things like that. We're people, you know, behind those Twitter accounts. And so we're not just a picture. We're not just whoever. So there's actually people behind that. You know, Coach Leslie, when he goes home, he's got a wife and two kids. Coach Brown, he's got a family when he's go he goes home. He's not just the head football coach at West Virginia. He's a real person. And so I think with that, it just really means a lot to be able to be a part of someone's life because football is going to be over one day for everybody. For Coach Brown's going to stop coaching one day. I'm going to stop playing one day, whether that's in six months or ten years, whatever it might be. Everybody's going to stop one day. And so I think it's good to know the person that they are because when you know who they are and what they're really about, that means you can give your 100% to every cause. Do you think camaraderie and chemistry is maybe underrated uh, a little bit? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it really – there's there's nothing there's no scientific evidence behind what camaraderie does. How do you measure it? I mean, there's nothing you can do. There's no GPS you can put on us. There's no 225 bench at the combine you can tell right. that does whatever. Camaraderie is completely and literally underrated as as much as it can possibly be. Um, there's something about it that changes the dynamics of a team and changes how we perform on the field. You, you've been here four years now. Um, has it, you, can you? There are probably some years has been better than others. Camaraderie on teams. Can you can you think back to a time when you know didn't have good chemistry and it really you know messed things up a little bit or vice versa where good chemistry pulled pulled you through? Uh, I think that I mean records reflect a lot and I don't really want to count my freshman year because again we didn't have the Big Brother program so you know you're kind of isolated. Um, there's a lot of different variables that go into it ultimately, so I'm, I'm, I can't decide, you know, seasons necessarily of what happened because football is football, you know, fumbles happen, whatever. But ultimately, games, moments, times in the weight room where, man, I don't know if I can finish or not. You know, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't do this. You know, uh, you're, you're week three in camp and you're suffering, your legs hurt, your neck hurts, everything else. You know, who's really going to be the one to push you through that? And is it going to be Coach Brown yelling at you, getting in your butt, saying, hey, you need to hurry up and do this? Or is it going to be the guy that you've been working with all summer long that's going to make sure that you finish? And it might help a little bit. It might help us win one game. It might help us win one down. It might help us win ten games. I don't, I don't know. I can't tell you. But I do know that it plays a huge factor. But 